And we are level 14, one level away from uh, unlocking the Diversionist and the Jammer class. So I have actually saved up one upgrade point just for that. I haven't really decided who I should be playing as the most right now. Or rather, who I should be focusing on until that. Okay, so one level 23 and the rest of the enemy team should be... Okay. So, I was basically, basically thrown into a game where the game was already over. That's nice. Not. Alright, so we'll just have to do it again. Wait for some more players to join. Hopefully it won't take too long. Uh, at least that's what I'm hoping about it. We'll see. Okay, so next game we are... Level 14, level 7, level 4, and level 1 versus level 3, level 4, level 1, and level 23. I can live with that. On this adapt post I should play either Sniper or Ranger. I am actually more keen on playing the Ranger since I'm more comfortable with how the Ranger's weapons works. Besides, Steady Hands works works far better with the Ranger's burst fire. So that is what we are going to do. So we got Ranger, Multiclass, Multiclass, and Point Man. Good, that means that we have someone at least that can charge the enemy and be take advantage of me suppressing the enemy. Now, the level 23's danger factor will be based on what he plays. If he plays a sniper, he may be dangerous. If he plays point man, he might be even more dangerous. Down and but we are on starting board. on the advantageous side for the ranger. Meaning we can actually advance towards the center and keep the tower under control. Now, when it comes to this map, the most important thing is not actually to take the tower. Being in the tower has no advantage on its own. However, your, the main objective here is to deny the other team access to the tower. And the reason we are placing ourselves here, where I am right Enemy now, is because right now oh you fucking idiot tango down sniper that was not a good move by him as you can see we can deny him from running up to the tower by placing ourselves in a good position and that is why i placed myself here now i should probably point man down Multiclass down. As you can see, the position we chose was perfect for suppressing the enemy and keeping them down. Now the point man has advanced and now we can run up to the tower. We running up to the tower now is a good thing to do since it's only one left. So we got two of them. That was pretty nice. But now we have to defend the tower against pretty much a similar maneuver. If they are any skilled at all, they will stay away from running up to the tower. But I think the guy may be level 23, but he didn't show any understanding of what makes a good sniper. And what makes a good sniper in my eyes is the knowledge to know when to engage. And 
That is why the Ranger is, for me, the better marksmanship class. He is far more versatile. The Sniper may have high penetration and high damage per shot, but he's not very versatile. If you miss that first shot and your enemy keeps on running, yeah, um, you failed. And in this case, <coughs> the enemy Sniper was <coughs> unable to return fire effectively. Because me and the point man were denying that area. Now, if you would choose the Sentinel class and try that one out on that very spot, then I am utterly convinced that you would get even better results. Since the Sentinel class can pretty much mark down the entire area. And if you are revealed going into the tower, well, you're fucked. That was what happened with our dear sniper. So what we're gonna just try to do here now is the same thing. I don't care if the enemy goes to the house. I don't. He can be behind the house all he wants. But he's gonna have to use the house to... The house is a landmark. You use the house to advance to it. And now I am moving very badly. Either way, the house is a landmark, so you move to it in order to conceal your movements. But that also makes your movement predictable. Sniper in the tower! Oh, fuck, we missed him. I talk too much. I want him to reveal himself. Is that enemy activity? Marking position now. I don't know if he can see me. He's suppressed. Let's see if I can get a grenade in there. Frag out. Get some. No, I can't get a grenade in there, but I can grab a submachine gun and just keep on walking. Because I have a submachine gun and he has the first pistol in the game. So, one the hostile remaining. Let's get this done. Where does, where's the last guy then? I don't know where the last guy was, but can you handle the revives while I keep an eye out for the last guy? I don't. I seriously don't know where the last guy is. Recon tower is back online. Did I complete the reload cycle for that gun? No, I did not. Good. Our guy is moving for. Moving to. Help that guy up. Oh, That's sweet. Shit, this still hurts. Last time we took automatic fire, so I think the last guy might actually, if he's good, and he might actually be that. Yeah, he's good enough to actually revive. Um, he might actually, I think there was a, a dead guy over, nah, he's still dead. That's good to know. We have two people marked now. We know where their dead guys are. And that is going to make reviving them a lot more difficult for our opponents. Because once we know where they will appear, I can put down fire. But I don't I don't think they're going in that direction. If anything, I think they're behind us. I'm actually serious about that. I don't think that they are in front of us here. Hostiles are going loud. Oh, base. Take heavy fire here. That was a nice shot by the guy. Either that or I was too damaged to do anything else.
I'm not going to expect a pickup here, but... If, the, if my dear recruit has a... He didn't get him. Crap. Please just run up to the tower and help me out. Because as soon... Uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you. He should be good here. You're good. At least that's what I'm hoping for. God damn, that was close. I'm not stupid enough to st actually stay in the tower now. So, I'm relocating. Seeing about... Tango down. I got him. And the last guy was somewhere around this location. Move it to position and put down some more fire on the guy. Tango down. Point man. That got up. Fairly pleased with the results, too. Six hundred and twenty-five points. Best player on the field with five kills and one death. Oh, come on! I have to play another game before I can unlock this, the other classes. Oh, well, it's not like we need a lot of points for it. I'll just need to pl actually play play the points. So. Still, it was a really fun game. Okay, so Dust Town. We are not facing the same people. Hey, the sniper we faced earlier is now on our team. Sweet. I'm actually gonna let him be the sniper and I'll just stay with the ranger. Um, I'm kinda rooting for the enemy team here. I mean, a level nine, a level four, a level six, and a level five. I'm kinda hoping they will give us a tough and fair game. Because, I mean, it looks good on stream and everything What if I'm completely dominating the enemy. But it's not fun. I mean, if something gets too easy, then at some point you stop doing it. You want to play against people your own skill level. And it might be me looking too much at levels, but... Hunt down and eliminate hostile forces in the area. That sniper was not too bad. And me and the ranger works fairly well together. So, oh, I actually managed to run out of the mission area proper. However, since the sniper, is now, sniper and point man is tagging on me, I don't know if that's the same point man as the last game. I hope so, because that point man was fucking great. I liked having him around. I think I might have spotted someone jumping down the wall, but this game is very good at making you paranoid. I am dead serious about that. This game is very good at making you paranoid. Man down, man down. Okay, so they got the sniper. Marking position now. I don't know how I don't know how they got him. All that matters is that We got a stone wall here, but the, en the enemy is pretty close. So we're gonna switch to the PSG. Be very careful in our advance. Ah, never mind, we're gonna switch to the M14 again. Picking up the signal from the recon tower. 
power. It'll be active soon. He's down. I think I might have actually have gotten their scout, but I'm not sure. I don't think so. I broke in contact and can now re-engage. But the... Oh, come on. He could have fired again. I want to know... Yeah, they have an artillery person as well. I don't know what class the guy I killed was, but he was... I'm engaging the sniper, so go for our sniper and pick him up. Good. The recon tower is back online. They picked up our sniper, and that means I might actually get some. He's aiming too high. Ah, there he is. Enemy drone overhead. I'm actually taking fire from one of the houses. Let's deliver a grenade to the guy. Frag out. I don't seem to be able to get up there though. Switching weapon. I want to completely outflank the enemy sniper. I don't think he knows I'm coming up behind him. Enemy drone airborne. I don't want him to know either, for that matter. Heads up, we've got enemy activity. Did he leave? Or is he just lying in a ghillie suit here somewhere? Yeah, I think he must have left. I don't know if you can hear it, but the ambient audio is cutting out. Kinda annoying. Yeah, the enemy sniper has left. However, I don't know if he knows that we now don't control his former domain. And this is a domain that has a pretty sweet spot over the recon tower. Ah, there he is. Tango down, recruit. Are going loud. Yeah, the enemy is go gonna counter snipe, but he's not going to be very good at it because here's the kicker. With the enemy. Yeah, our sniper got him. Nice shooting. Now, if I were the enemy, I would try to take out myself. Because I am the most vulnerable of the players. I don't have any support close to me. All the other players have support close to them. I don't. Enemy position ah, there we go. Taking up the from the recon tower. It'll be Why can't I suppress the guy? I should be able to. I mean, that's an artillery. Reloading. Last mag. Last bullet. Yeah, we got him. It was a longer game than necessary, but it was, it was a good one. So with proper support, it seems like our level 23 was actually a pretty good person. Now, I'm feeling I want to put 
played a drone or artillery this round. I think I'm gonna go with artillery since it's basically the same thing. And the reason I want to do that is because these guys knew how to stay hidden. They were skilled at staying in cover and staying out of sight. And I approve of that. Pardon my Pringle. Alright, so our Canadian here will not launch a drone immediately because that is one of the that is one of the rookie mistakes. You, if you are a scout, you can launch a drone immediately. But as an artillery person, no. You want the enemy to feel safe, to feel that, oh, they're not launching any drones, sweet. And then, when they don't pay attention, you launch the drone. Now I ha drone now I should launch the drone, because their sniper has been revealed. And I need to keep, keep tabs on the guy. Drone now I'm calling down an airstrike on the guy, so he's running straight back into it, too. Now the enemy guy disappeared and we want to keep two of the enemy are still Shit, unaccounted down. for. That's that's not good. But we wanna stay low and advance. We find any enemy corpses or anyone who's is that guy dead again? Nice. What we are gonna do now is go there, pick up our mates, and place down some mines. Quit complaining. Since we have quick hands, the healing process is much quicker too. Man, if you shot straight, I wouldn't get fucked up. Yo, I'm placing One mine here. Shit, man down. <laughs> I've never got to place down the second mine. Place We're placing it there instead. And moving. Crap. I wanted to throw a grenade, but I couldn't. Tango down. Sweet. Hopefully we can pick up our mate again. Recon tower is back online. Cover me while I use the recon tower. I have quick hands, so this will go quick. The quick hands trait is one of the more useful ones. For all the right reasons. Point man down. Now we only have the, uh, the artillery guy left. And since he's predictable, I can call in a danger close strike for our sniper while we approach from the other side. He's running straight into it, but it seems like... Yeah, I'm gonna try go. and cut him off. Go. Tango down. Sweet! That went rather well for us. Yeah, next level, sweet. And halfway to level 16 as well. That's good. Real good. I'm actually gonna stick with this squad here. I can... Yeah, we're gonna unlock the tech. 
and we are gonna unlock the diversionist. Uh, the marksman has the enforcer, but I did, never found the enforcer to be that fun a class to play. Now the diversionist has... I actually don't know what weapons the tech and diversionist have. Uh, so we are actually gonna stay in the matchmaking, see what we... Oh, come on, now the sniper turned on, turned out to be on the other team. So, on coca farm, oh fuck me. I don't approve of Coca Farm. I think it's a crap map for crap people. But I'm gonna try out the jammer on it regardless. See what happens. Or the tech. I call it the jammer because they have a jammer. Uh, let's see here. Oh, we can actually have a Mark 17 as the tech. That's pretty sweet. Uh, let's see here. Steady hands, thermal goggles. I think I'm gonna go with steady hands. There's not much I want to do with the tech. I mean, the tech have not a weapon I would actually like all that much, but they got a 511 cap. I mean, what's a, what's there else to have? <sighs> so, time to see if the tech is for us. And our new goal is level 35 and the medic. So I'm gonna play one game each with these classes. And with said, I put down the remote jammer. But I want to do that more in a more central area. Yeah, it's not like I'm gonna be fooled by a tank this early in the game. Besides, with 500 meters to the target. So we... I'm gonna place the jammer behind the building there, unless... I'm trying to figure out what part of the map we're, we're actually playing. We got enemy activity. Enemy drone. I can't actually... For some reason, I can't... There we go. Now we're jamming the enemy. Sweet. We're also jamming the recon tower. But they can still tag us, but not as easily. Enemies lost visual. Unclear. My problem right now is that I am in w in the light. I shouldn't be. I... Nade out. I got him. I actually have C4 as the tech class. It's not as potent as a mine, but... I wonder if I can put out several jammers, or if I just keep one on the field. I think I can actually just keep one on the field, because anything else would just be overpowered. Let's see here, there is a health and ammo box right in front of me, so I should really try and, try and restock from it. Or I could go and flank the tank. Tank down, Let's keep it moving. We did well this game, actually. I like the jammer so far. I'm going to go back for the tower. Also, I'm gonna pick up some more ammo, restock on everything, HP, everything like that. Hostiles are going loud. Okay. Got him. That was pretty sweet. Not the best on our team, but certainly good enough, I would say. The enemy sniper was the only one who even got 
points on the board. I mean, aside from that 50 that Street Rider R1 scored. I am tempted to try out the Diversionist, but not yet. We are going to the tech. And let's see here. I'm actually gonna try the thermal goggles on the tech. I mean, the, if there's any class that the thermal goggles actually fit on, it's the tech, right? Okay, so now we are on the other side, meaning that we don't have the ridge to cover our our assault. But this can also be good, especially since we, as the jammer, want to reach the center quickly, so we can actually put down the jammer in a decent spot. We've got enemy activity, enemy drone overhead. I need to ru run. However, I can't run for some ungodly reason. Fuck, a maid. Yeah, hello, drone. You're activity. jammed. I don't know why they decided to give her that Russian submachine gun, but for some reason I don't find the shoe to fit. Then again, I'm not sure the MK-17 fits that well left. either, for that matter. Tango down. I'm pinned down! Somebody shoot that fucker! We've got enemy activity. Marking position now. Picking up a signal from the recon tower. It'll be active soon. People keep saying that Thermal is OP, but I'm not seeing it. Quite literally not seeing it. Hostiles are going loud. Man down, I man mean, down. So far, I would actually consider the night vision to be more OP if that's the case. I don't know if I'm in Tango down, but we got shot down by the sniper. But the sniper is being suppressed by the point man and our own recruit, it seems. Pre that's pretty neat. Apparently my jammer is still valid. So, at least that's something. But I am in a very dangerous spot to be picked up in. And unless they can actually do something more permanent with the enemy sniper. I mean, this is one of the part one of the problems I have with this map, and that is the sniper on the ridge is far too powerful. Now, our own G28 operator here can try and engage, but yeah, sadly he got mowed down trying to pick me up. Hopefully our last man standing can do something about it, but I'm, I'm confident in his ability. And then he died. However, we are gonna be on the nice side this round on the hillside and since we're gonna be on the hillside I'm gonna pick the tech once again and what we are gonna do with the tech is basically we are gonna place the jammer closer to the sniper line
One of the enemies quits. That's good for us, but it's not fun. Like I said earlier, I prefer a tense, intense game where, I'm down and where you and the enemy are down. very equal and it goes back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I'm gonna place the jammer behind the hillside here. So it can't be sniped. Can you drone airborne? And now we're jamming the drone, sweet. Shit, man down. What is kind of fun about the fact that the tech has the MK-17 is that I've heard complaints that the MK-17 is semi-auto. And there are a lot of people wanting the M14 to be just semi-auto. Get your ass up. We've got a taking a lot of fire over here. They've got me marked. Yeah, I made it. I couldn't pick up the guy, but I made it out at least. Heads up, we got enemy activity. Hostiles lost visual. Picking up a signal from the recon tower. It'll be active soon. Sadly, this is not Rainbow Six Hostiles Siege. But as long as they are suppressing the guy, I I'll should be you. trying to heal them. Taking heavy fire. Enemy activity. Marking position now. Get your ass up. Enemy drone. Hopefully we can get this guy up. Oh, yep, we could. Fuck. Sweet. How about you don't let me get shot next time? We got the recon cap tower covered by the jammer at least. So there's that. Night, everything Enemy is down. cool, is going loud. and still we can't see anything on thermal. Man down, man down. I mean, he's, he's right there, but I still can't see him on thermal. I can see him much better on on the night vision. So the entire notion that thermal is OP is not, while not debunked, not entirely accurate either. <laughs> We need to be quick and quiet, sweep and clear. Turn One hostile down. remaining. Let's get this done. Yeah, the last guy is my responsibility if he's nearby. And he should be. I just don't know how close by he'll be. Ah, fuck it. <sighs> I walked right into that one. Then again, he's a goner. So the last thing we're gonna do for this play session, because I feel my energy is slipping a bit, is equip, the, equip our new tech, and maybe even diversionist. I haven't actually made up my mind yet. We did well in score, one of the high scoring of the game. We didn't get level 16 though, but that's not an entirely terrible thing.
Right, so loadout. Sech. We haven't unlocked the MK17 yet, and I'm a bit miffed about that. I highly prefer the 17 over. So, apparently we got a pretty decent vest, but I don't really get why she got the blue one. Uh, I'm actually thinking we are gonna keep this character. Now, I was go uh, I have a character idea I wanted to save for the medic. And I'm not convinced I shouldn't pick it for this one, but I think I'm actually going to give her a similar outfit to my my uh, a similar outfit to my ranger and that is actually we are gonna make this we're gonna give her the co commando pants and commando uniform that's the four pocket BDU I'm not I'm not entirely sure that this fits her really but Nah, it doesn't. I don't think I have a cry commando, so maybe this this ought to be it. I mean, she can get the gray uniform, or she can get any of the other cry uniforms. I mean, we, we can give her the uh, ATAX cry precision. There's nothing inherently wrong with it at any rate. Didn't they add it for the pants or was that... Yeah, there it is. The A. I'm not entirely sure if I should pick this or if I'm gonna have, you know... That's interesting. Why does, do they have a patch on that cry, but not on the other? Oh, well. And since she's the tech, I'm actually thinking uh, we're gonna give her the accessory of... Not the... <laughs> not the steel pot. The steel pot doesn't fit her. Uh, the soldier helmet is still locked, but where is the helmet? She can't have a military beret, that one doesn't fit. There we have it, the advanced ballistics helmet. Which have the... And we're gonna give her ATAX for that as well. Face wear, none. Eye wear, none. So now she has a pretty sweet deal going on with the helmet at least. That's a tech trooper right there. And then we might actually give her another vest we might give her the plate carrier instead it looks better and we're gonna make give her the sandstone plate carrier as for boots we're gonna stick it with what you got accessories backpack standard issue actually we're gonna give her this one but we're gonna give make it sandstone like her vest I'm not entirely sh Yeah, I think she's actually going to get a proper headset. And we might as well make it black or grey or... Yeah, Coyote Brown is the most fitting since it fits her gear. So this is going to be a more soldierly type of warrior. And due to her weapon, uh, I'm kind of interested to just give her a, a uh, e some kind of eastern flag or something like that. Make her Polish or something like that. Uh, she could be Norwegian as well for that matter. I mean, yeah, it could work. Uh, but considering her origins and the fact that she uses a scar, um, yeah, it doesn't really fit, does it? Poland fits a little bit. Russia also fits, but not with the MK. So I'm actually thinking this is our Polish operator. Uh, 
I'm not entirely convinced about it, but I think that's actually the better part since, I mean, she carries a good gun. And we are gonna get back in there. Tech. Yeah. I actually kind of like the, her look. The attacks make it work. Let's see here. We have the tank here. Which is basically sci-fi-ish. We have the marksman who is a civilian. We have the ranger who is military. We have the scout who is ghost recon. And we have the artillery who is also military. I think that our diversionist, the diversionist can use the M4A1, a secondary weapon, is going to look like a shabby rebel. Uh, I think we're gonna pick Mason for his face. I have no idea why. We're gonna pick the Mohawk. Just a tiny speck of a beard. And, like I said, this this is going to be, like, very much rebel style. I want the molly harness, please, and I want it in black. I don't want the molly set in black. Thank you. And we're gonna give him jeans. Or maybe not jeans. I actually used jeans for my other other operator, but he can have a commando pants. Black commando pants. And see here, he's not gonna have... Actually, the jobs fit him quite well. So I'm actually thinking we are gonna stick him with that. Uh, but that means no headwear. Yeah, it does actually kind of fit. I would say that right now this this is one of my... If I'm changing one of the operators, I'm most likely gonna change this one. Since I'm not entirely sure about his looks because I feel I need to play a character a certain to a certain degree before I get the hang of how I want them to look. I think my main problem with this guy is actually his hair. Uh, I don't... Yeah, he looks he looks very silly in the with a red beard, but he, he looks... With a grey hair, he's kind of like the grizzled old veteran instead, and that fits a lot more with how I want him to be, instead of with black hair and Stuff like that. Uh, not sure about the color on the backpack. I think I managed to pick the wrong one. Yeah, they have the Atex, but the Atex doesn't really fit, so just an olive drab. Either that or we're gonna pick him a black. Yeah, I'm actually thinking we're picking him a black. Now he is much more to the point. And, of course, we need to get him some decent tattoos. So we're gonna go with the battlefield cross. And... Yeah, battlefield cross. And on the other side, we'll just have the old... He can have a DJ Perico tattoo. Nothing prevents him from having, uh, except for the fact that the DJ Perico tattoo is taking away a bit of his battle. So we'll, we'll just give him the sapper thingy, because that's basically what he is. And, of course, just the 511 eagle on him. I actually kind of like this. I might change it in the future. In fact, I would say it's highly possible I alter it in the future. But for now, it's not all bad. And next time we are trying 
on the Ghost War mode in this game, the Diversionist is most likely going to be the class that we play. So tune in then, and I don't know when that will be, so... Hope you had a nice time watching this, and thanks and goodbye.